Hey, this is OXDF. We're doing day two of the 2022 Advent of Code. Uh, this one's called Rock, Paper, Scissors. So the elves are playing Rock, Paper, Scissors with each other, but for some reason we have a encrypted strategy guide. It's not really encrypted, it's just encoded, um, which is our puzzle input. And it's got two columns. Um, the first column is what your opponent's gonna play, A for rock, B for paper, C for scissors. Uh, the second column doesn't, so like, they don't tell us, but then we assume it's gonna be X, what we, what I should play, X for rock, Y for paper, Z for scissors. And I'm assuming this is gonna change in part two, but okay. So you get a score for each round and your score is you get a, you get a one for rock, two for paper and three for scissors and a zero if you lose, a three if you draw and a six if you win. So I need to go through to basically just go through and calculate the score for each of these games and uh, make a total. Um, so we're gonna, Let's see, uh, I guess that's all I need. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's see, we'll grab this paragraph right here and take it over so we have it when we're coding. Jump over here and we can do Gen Day 2. And so now we've got our input. I went through the Gen Day script in the previous video. I'll put a link to that here. Um, but basically it pulls my input for me and creates a little stub. Um, so now I've got my input here, which is all these games. And then I've got my, uh, stub, which is just going to open the file I pass in as the first argument and read all the lines. Um, I'm sure there's a elegant way to create a game of rock, paper, scissors and all that. I'm really just going to, um, this feels kind of lame, but there's only nine possibilities, right? Um, if they play A, I could play A, X, Y, or Z. If they play B, I can play X, Y, or Z. If they play C, I can play X, Y, or Z. That's it. So, um, we can really just do like scores equals and then define the matrix here. So like if they do a X, so rock, rock, uh, well, that's going to be a tie. So and I'm going to get one point for playing rock and that's going to be a tie. So we get uh, three Let's come up here and um, put this in like this. Let's see, make this work a little bit nicer here. Okay, there we go. So that's that. If they do uh, a Y, so in this case, they play rock, I've played scissors. No, I played paper. Uh, paper covers rock, so I'm gonna win. So it's gonna be, I pick paper, so I get two for that, and I win, so I get six for that. Um, now, A, Z, they play rock, I play scissors, and so I get three for picking it, but I get zero for losing. Um, and so now we can kind of do the same thing. Um, in fact, I'm going to do this, uh, delete that, and run up here, grab this, and paste that there, and paste it again. Now I just need to change B. I could probably set up the Vim bindings and change these all at once, but I've not done that in VS Code. So there we go. Okay, so I just got to figure these out real quick. Um, this is uh, rock, paper. This is paper. On They pick paper, I pick rock. So I get one for rock, and I lose. Uh, this is... They pick, wait, this is a tie, and this will be a win then. And then this is, they pick scissors, we pick rock, so we get one plus win. This is, they pick scissors, we pick paper, so this is one plus lose, and this is, that looks, nope, like three, like that. And that's it right there. Now, is this error prone? Yes, because I just went through and did it all in my head, and how confident am I that these are right? I don't know, it was like 70 percent could i have made an error yes for sure um so if we had actually like made out the game we could have made it a lot less error prone but if we got it right then we're going to solve it very quickly so um so now what we need to do is we need to run over each of our lines and we'll say um l for l in lines and now we can say for each line we're going to strip it because we want to remove s t r i p so we're going to remove any end lines or white space at the end and then we're going to say scores of, of this Oops, it shouldn't be a it shouldn't be in parentheses it should be in uh square brackets and now we just want to do sum of that and we'll say part one equals and we'll now come in here and say part one part one and let's put some empty in there real quick and i believe python Day two. Oops, gotta give it an input. Input dot text. Actually, maybe I should change that. Um, so let's let's see if we got it right. Um, I really don't know. This really could be. Uh, we could have an error to troubleshoot, but that's okay. We try to go quickly. Let's see. 
we got the right answer. Sweet. So we did it. We did it. Let's see. Uh, what does part two look like? Um, okay. The elf finished helping you sneaks back over to you. Um, the second column says how the round needs to end. So X means you need to lose. Um, Y means you need to end the round in a draw and Z needs you we need to win. Okay. So it's not, so it's a little bit more complicated, but not really. Again, we can do the same thing. Um, we just need to think it through again. So we'll come down here and we'll come up here actually, and we'll do put this in here. So now let's, we just need to do the same thing we did before, but we need to change it a little bit. So we'll come here we'll grab our scores and we'll call this like scores two. Okay. So X means I need to lose. So they played rock. I need to lose. So by default, I know, I know I need a zero here. In fact, I need a zero for all three of the X's. I can go ahead and change Y to a draw and I can change Z's to a win. Oops. That's not there and there. So it goes zero to fix three, zero, three, six, zero, three, six. So perfect. Now for me to lose playing when he plays rock, I need to play scissors, which is going to be uh, three points for me to lose for me to draw. I would need to play rock, which is one point. And for me to win, I would need to play paper, which is two points. So I'll do the same thing down here. He plays uh, rock paper. So for me to lose, I would need to play rock, which is one point. For me to draw, I would need to play paper, which is two points. And for me to win, I need to play scissors, which is three points. And then here, they play rock, paper, scissors. So for me to lose, I would need to play paper for two points. For me to draw, I need three points. And for me to do that, there's one. And now we can do the same thing here. Grab this. It's part two. Scores two, part two. And this again, this is kind of ugly. Oops, let's make this uh, not in quotes. Um, this, I, I don't love this code, but I mean, again, to solve to get where we're trying to go, I think it's fine for today. So let's grab uh, back over here and see if that worked. All right, so I'm um, gonna call it there. Um, if I get any brilliant ideas between now and when I release this, I might come back and add in some, you know, making it look cooler or doing it a neater way, but I don't know this problem is really worth it. So um, thanks for sticking with me and I will talk next time.